lot of aspects of the game. Um, but small things like my hand placement, whether it was run game or the pass game, I just want to tune things up for Sadiq, how are you addressing the suspensions with NFL teams when they ask about it? What, what, what's been your message to them? I mean, it was just a mistake. It's not a part of my life anymore, whatever. I went through while I was at school and led to the suspensions. Um, I mean, it was selfish and it was a stupid mistake, honestly. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, I mean, I moved forward from it. Was it was it just one incident? Because I mean, Coach O was always kind of vague about what what the specifics were. Or... Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you say sort of what it was or anything about what happened? Or... No, 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 sir. Okay. I just kept that between me and Coach. Okay. Yes, what? What went into your decision to come out now? I mean, you're obviously you're turning 21 down the road. You could have come back. I mean, is there one or two prevailing reasons why you decided now was the time? I, mean, I didn't think about it too much coming out of coming into the season. <clears throat> but I mean, we had a great year. We accomplished a lot of goals. Like me and the guys wanted to be Joe Moore Award uh, winners and SEC champs and, uh, and then eventually national champs. We kind of knocked all those things out. I don't know, and then I played well. Yeah. And I just felt I was a great decision, a good decision to make for me and my family. Yeah. What's been the feedback from the NFL teams when you have talked about uh, the suspension? Uh, I mean, they, they, I've kind of made it to them that like I made a mistake, and everyone makes some mistakes, but I don't want them to judge that, judge me, a whole person off of a mistake. Like, uh, I mean, I'm a good guy, I'm a great guy, and everything that they learned from LSU is that I'm a great guy that just made some mistakes in college. You mentioned some guys that you studied. Is there one guy that you think you best compared to at the next level, and why? Um, I love Trent Williams, man. That's probably my favorite player. What about him? He's physical, he's nasty, he can run, he can move, he can bend. I mean, every, all the attributes I kind of just identify myself with. Who's the best player going back to LSU next year that we don't talk about right now, but a year from now we'll all be talking about? How to race him in math. What stands out about him? Um, he's an athlete, long, physical, physical receiver. Uh, I mean, he, he loves special teams, he's a great special teams player. He go block anybody on the field, he go hit anybody on the field, he run past anybody on the field. If you could bring one of your offensive line teammates with you to the next level, which one are you bringing to watch? Um, Lloyd Cushenberry. Why's that? Uh, I mean, just a real smart player. Uh, He's always reliable, um, things like that. Was he kind of the kind of the leader of your group? I mean, was he the one who kind of kept everybody, you know, in check as far as leadership and things like that? Yeah, so he did. And what was his style like? Was he a kind of an in-your-face guy? Would he pull you off to the side? I mean, was he? I mean, he wasn't an in-your-face guy, but uh, I mean, when he had to stand up and, and say things, he definitely would. Um, I mean, he kind of more of a. Hey, let's get the guys together, you know what I'm saying? After practice, we'll all be together. He'll just say it in front of the group all at one time. I mean, he's not much of a big rah rah and scream and getting a face guy. But I mean, he doesn't let people run over him as well. I think you like Trent Williams. You mentioned to Ron Armstead. You also said you play some right tackle too. Are you just more comfortable at left tackle or do you feel comfortable at right also? Uh, I mean, I feel comfortable wherever I, wherever I can play at. I just did what my team needed for me during college. Oh, Who's the toughest guy you faced in the game this year? Um, I mean, I, I've been between between Terrell Davis and Marlon, uh, I mean, Terrell Lewis and Marlon Davidson. I mean, Marlon had really good counter moves. Uh, Terrell, Terrell Lewis was really long and strong and powerful and fast, so look for both of them too. Would you rather face a speed rusher or a power rusher? Like, if you could, would you, do you feel better going into a matchup against a smaller speed guy or a bigger powerful guy? I mean, probably speed. That's a lot what I saw in college, so, yeah. What's been the most uncomfortable part of this process for you so far? Uh, I mean, I actually feel really, really prepared. So uh, it's going, been going really well for me. I'm enjoying every moment. Any LSU alums reach out to you to give you some advice for this week? Yeah, I've been talking to Lyle Collins a good bit. Uh, I'm training in Dallas as well, so he's right around the corner. Anytime I need him, I just call him. What kind of quarterback is uh, so whatever team's got to throw for? What kind of quarterback are they getting? Uh, I mean, I think they're going to get the best quarterback in the draft, the best quarterback that's available. I mean, he's a winner. Uh, people have been talking about the mama mentality. He's got the ultimate mama mentality. Uh, I mean, I've been kind of telling some people, like, when it's game time, he just turns into this different mode. I mean, it's kind of unexplainable. Uh, he's been a great guy, a great teammate, a great leader.
going from winning the national championship to now heading to the NFL draft. Talk about your uh, uh, these last three months and then the next couple months. Um, I mean, my emotions, uh, I mean, they're good. I mean, I just got to finish off this process, uh, this combine process. I got a big next couple days going on here. And we got pro day still, April 3rd. So I just got to finish off strong. What's it been like going through this team? What kind of leader was Willie Cushenberry in your offense? In your offense? I mean, he was a great leader. Um, he said the things that needed to be said. He did the things that needed to be did. Uh, he leaded us in the right direction. How effective was he? He was good. I think the best they could ever do it. What was it like, what's it like? What's it been like going through this process with so many of your teammates? Uh, I mean, it is kind of weird. Like my roommate is Lloyd while I'm here, and then D. Lewis, Daniel Lewis, he stays right across the, uh, the hall or whatever, like right next door to me. So, I mean, we already feel pretty prepared coming in here. Thanks to Coach Craig, James Craig, shout out one of the best offensive line coaches out there. Uh, and he had us really prepared for this, and then to say you feel even more comfortable because I'm here with two guys I played with the whole year. Are you like comparing notes about the interview process and, and things like that, like you know. Joe went yesterday. You know, was, was the day ahead of you through the process of, of those guys helping you out? I mean, we're doing little things like, what all did y'all do yesterday? You know, we're at the hospital for four or five hours. So, uh, I mean, what, what did y'all do last night? We did an uh, informal interview for a few hours. We had a couple former interviews, so just things like that. Did you met with the Steelers? No, sir. What were you 